My name is Khalid. I'm an associate professor at the Technical University of Denmark. This video is about video conferencing toolkit, which is portable. And imagine the scenario of teaching in a hybrid situation, which means that some of the students are in the classroom and some of the students are sitting online. Many of us face a lot of challenges. And in this video, we are going to present a number of toolkits all together. There are 11 items that I'm going to present and I'm going to present how to set them up. Let's get it started. So we have all these 11 items starting with the laptop. Number two is an extended screen. Number three is a mobile stand where I will put my mobile. And this is for a second screen because often we do not see our students and we sometimes do not see how our students view us. So we need a second view. So that's why I will be using the mobile. Number three, sometimes the light in the room is not sufficient. So we will need a, a backup light. Then number five is coming up headphone. In some situations, we may use a headphone because we want to cancel noise. Now imagine if you have hybrid situation where you have students in, sitting in front of you and there are others sitting online. In that situation, we don't want this. So we'll have to go for a plan B where we will have a wireless microphone. But that's not in this toolkit. The next item that you have is a multi-port adapter with type C. Instead of using that, I am directly getting to this power strip. Now, follow me. In this case, I have only three points. You might want to have way more. In my experience, in most cases, these three points is enough and I can carry it in my backpack. The next item that I have on the list is Remarkable 2. And in this Remarkable 2, I will uh, be able to present mainly from my PDF PowerPoint slides where I can annotate. Alternatively, I also have always I carry Wacom because when I'm annotating on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, then I need Wacom for that. The next item on the list, item number nine, is a Jabra Speak. If I have a relatively small room like this, or a little bit uh, larger, where I have approximately up to 15 to 16 students, then I will be using one of these. But if I have about 30 students, then I will use two of these for a hybrid scenario where I can have many more students sitting online. Why they, these uh, Jabra Speak? Because we can connect this with uh, Bluetooth. Two of them will be connected to my laptop. And then if the students are asking any question, I don't have to repeat because often my students online are asking, Khalid, your students are asking some question that we cannot hear. So can you repeat? And in the process, we are either spending a bit more time or I am losing a few words here and there and it's not exactly the same verbatim like the students ask. The next item on the list that I have is a Logitech 920HD webcam. Why? There are two reasons. Number one, imagine that I'm in a laboratory scenario and the one camera that I have with the laptop is not enough. It, it cannot uh, rotate and therefore I need to change the rotation, the head of the webcam and therefore I need yet another webcam. That's why it's there. My 11th item was power strip, which I talked earlier already. Now let's get it started with setting it up. Okay, so the first thing that I want to set up is an extended screen. Now many of us have a, on our laptop an extended screen, but that's not portable. And most of the extended screens that we can find on the market are not something that is light and cannot fit in our backpack. And therefore, the solution that I found closest to what I can carry is either it would go in my backpack or I can carry. So this is Ophia extended screen P2 Pro and I'm going to set it up right now. So let's get this out of this strapped uh, bag. Right. And then the screens would go on the back side and I'll get close to the monitor uh, laptop screen like this. The beginning part is pressing these arrows here. Once I press, this will extend. Woo. 
Okay. So press and let me make a bit of room. Mm -hmm. And then Right. Important to notice that I already have set up these cables because I have already used it in my classroom earlier. So I have these two cables at the back. Now there are two type C cables. One of these is the power. The other is going to the laptop for the monitor. So I'm just checking now which one is what. This says PD and type C. So PD refers to I need power. Now, need this power source. Okay, so it's, it's already getting the power, but I have not used this yet. The first time you will be using this extended monitor, you will have to install the monitor. This device comes with a USB drive. And within this USB drive, depending on what type of uh, operating system you have, you will have to install the driver. And since I have Windows, the first time I used it, I went to Windows and then I have installed for the Windows the driver and then immediately after it, it gets to connect and I have the extended screen. The next that we are going to go to is setting up Remarkable. One of the classes that I teach is um, Introduction to Statistics and often on I am using PDF slides and I am doing annotation on the slide. And, uh, and together with that, I'm presenting how to run a few lines of code in R. So in that kind of a scenario, here is the pen tablet. And I'll put it aside. I don't need the headphone, so I'm going to put it aside for now. And I need the cable. I actually have another one. That's why, in reality, I'm using the, the factory standard one for the first time. So, it goes to the USB port. And I connect the Type-C. My files. Um, I have all my files structured here. D2 teaching, introduction to statistics, 0402. Let's say I am going for uh, week two. And when we are, I'm, I'm interested in starting, then I'll go to Remarkable application. I'll turn on the Remarkable app and set and then this arrow present with screen share connect to app see what happens here I'll have to accept I can now present this in the class in a zoom or in on teams I can share the screen and while I'm writing I'll just show br briefly the writing part say i am selecting this pen it's already selected red medium size pen when i hide this hair and this is to now look at the screen i write and see how smooth this is and if i want to delete it's like pencil the back side of pencil it works in the same way I am using the back side of the pencil it's simple if I want to change the color 
I can change blue or black, for example, blue. I close this and then I write it here. The reason why we took Remarkable is that it feels like paper and when I am annotating immediately after, I send it through the learning management system, I send it to the students. When I'm supervising online in groups, I can immediately put their emails and send it directly from uh, Remarkable. So that becomes very much handy for me. Right, so moving on to the next tool here, I'll stop the Remarkable. So our next item on the list is Wacom Pen Tablet. So consider the scenario when I'm presenting using PowerPoint in a lecture and I, I'm, I want to do some sort of annotation. It is to increase engagement and interaction with the students. So I would like you to um, have a look at the screen, for instance. Now I, am, I would like to use the pen. So I select pen from here and I'm going to turn on Wacom pen tablet. It's already connected via Bluetooth. So I want to so raise the point what is a prototype and I want to in the discussion highlight the term prototype. So and again I want to talk about some de-emphasize others. This so I'll uh, just show quickly about the erasing option. So for erasing, we can select either move it from here and you will find the, find the orientation from here, select erase and then I can do it from here or I can use the screen here. Both will work to delete. So that was for a quick demonstration on the use of Wacom pen tablet. I'll move on to the next item. So the next item on the uh, video conferencing toolkit list is this uh, Logitech C920 HD webcam. The reason that we have included this in the toolkit is sometimes we have to show what's on the table if it is in a, in a laboratory setting or maybe I'm doing some sort of sketching, writing, drawing, prototyping on a table that I want to show to the students. Um, or even the students are working and they want to share with us in that situation. We found that among many other options and we were looking for, for example, 180 degree uh, rotation to 360 degree rotation, uh, tilt and all the price options. Based on those, we found that this, uh, this webcam with Logitech C920 HD with uh, 1080 pixel, it does a fair, fair job. And uh, I have put this on a relatively lightweight um, camera stand and it's very, uh, very light, very, very light. And if you can see, you know, it's uh, wobbly uh, at, the, at the bottom. It's very good because it's portable and all I need is maybe I want to mount this webcam and at most on some occasions I might mount um, a light uh, on this. So. Um, I would like to show, for example, I am giving a video demo, for example, or communicating about this Jabra Speak, my, our next item on the toolkit list. And uh, on the screen, I'm actually turning on my Zoom meeting um, and say my uh, Remarkable is turned on and people can see. And I believe it's, uh, it's fair, fairly clear to see what's um, what's being shown on the table. Um, many people do want a bit of a zoom option um, in, the, in this scenario, but uh, considering the price and all the other trade-off, I believe this is just uh, a fair job. So the next item is this Jabra Speak 255. Uh, and this is the first time I'm opening nice packaging in this time way nicer and as you can see this nice packaging uh, makes it very easy to carry handy all i have to do is two options either i can choose to set it up with my computer 
the other is all those students who are sitting in front of me in the classroom i can ask one of them to use this with their um, you know video conferencing system set up and use this and turn it on only when they're speaking and one of the students uh, among say 15 of the students in one side and 15 other students in the other side of the classroom i can give two of these to connect in the classroom and they can be connected online and then when some some one of the students start speaking i would ask them to turn it on and this audio will go through and at the same time this would give us an advantage that uh, the audio out will come through the speakers so if someone is speaking online and talking online then the audio will come through this in case if we want and if we do not have any other option in the room so in that way uh, this uh, Jabra Speak is highly recommended. I'm not including uh, showing a demo right now, turning it on and uh, playing it because I believe it's fairly simple and straightforward. But if there are any questions, feel free to drop a question in the comments uh, of the video. Thank you. The next item on the list of portable video conferencing toolkit is a mobile video light. And uh, this mobile video light, uh, LumiPod Pocket, it can be used both with laptop and with mobile. And we tried both of these out. And if you notice in the packet, we actually get um, a mount that can be put on a laptop and one for the mobile. And in the packaging, I have not used it yet. For make it a bit long lasting, a bit permanent maybe, there is a bit of uh, a sticker. The better part, uh, the better option is to use it with a um, tripod, which I have put it up here. Uh, and if you have the space to put up a tripod, then I would recommend that. And usually um, we can put a tripod up. And I would like to show the options here. So this tripod, uh, sorry, this, this light comes with two uh, options, if you see here. Uh, there are two different options. Let me try to dim this. So as you can see, it's written dim. So the light would be reduced and increased. It's, it's lumen, I believe it's quite high. Cannot see the specification on top, but it mentions that it uh, runs up to um, eight hours of battery life, which is good enough. So I just showed dim. And the other option is to change the light type. So it becomes from cold to warm light. So I actually prefer the cold type. Um, and uh, maybe it's a good idea also to show how we can um, change our appearance uh, on the video when we change the light. I'll just change the light a bit here and I'm increasing the brightness. So immediately the look and feel and interaction online would be different when people can see me clearly. But if I turn this uh, light to dim, you see the, immediately my face would be less visible. And if I turn it off, let's show how it becomes. And this is the view that you will have when I don't have the light on. So light in addition to our audio, uh, has a big effect on the video. So we have experienced that um, students mentioned um, that it is better when we have better light condition around uh, and they can see better. And uh, with that list, I believe we have come to the end. Just to uh, remind the 11 items again, I will run those through. So the first was the laptop. Second is the extended screen. Then I have the mobile stand. I did not go through uh, much with this. And then the next item was light, which I came in relatively late. Then the headphone, I'll just open up quickly. Um, and uh, this headphone can be used with both um, cable. It's a Sony, right? So. It said this, it has a, this serial number WH-H910N. So this headphone can be used both um, wireless and uh, with a cable. 
Um, so it's a Bluetooth connectivity. Interesting part is it has a very, very, very good noise elimination. Remarkable too. Um, Wacom Pen Tablet, Jabra Speak, Logitech 920 HD webcam, uh, and um, a tripod, a stand for the camera or the light. And then remember to have a power strip to run a class for at least uh, two hours to four hours with all these many items. You do not want to get anything going wrong in the video conferencing system mediated teaching for engaging interaction. Remember to have the power strip. And also uh, do try it before you set up the first time. Experiment with it before you really conduct a class. Thank you. That's all for now.